knew that a 2009 Woodbury School of Business graduate would end up being the heart and soul of Utah's first and most successful food truck. Adam Terry is the mastermind behind the Waffle Love restaurant and food truck phenomena that is taking Utah by storm. Featuring a soft, sugary waffle of goodness topped with the sweetest fruits in season, the richest whipped cream, and a selection of ooey-gooey sauces, Waffle Love was born, mostly out of Terry's passion for creating the perfect waffle. My passion was making incredible food for people. and So I'm the type of guy that on a weekend, um, I'd be finding obscure ingredients for some crazy recipe to make for my friends and invite them all over. Um, and so that's, that's kind of what I decided to do. So I went for waffles. So these waffles, is a, what we sell at Waffle Love is a Belgian Liège waffle. And it's a waffle that's made out of a dough, not a batter. Belgian pearl sugar, which we import from Belgium. It's a, it's a time consuming, labor intensive waffle making process. It's not like what you're used to at home. So I wanted to bring that sort of thing, that kind of magic to people. Necessity was the other mother of waffle love invention when Terry was laid off while raising and providing for his young family. He had always been attracted to the creativity of cooking and just needed the perfect opportunity to make his dream a reality. The door opened when Terry spotted a rundown food truck that just needed a little tender loving care. His wife and daughter created the unique Waffle Love logo and design, which became the business signature. Waffle Love's first day in business yielded just 13 waffle sales. But thanks to his wife leading a viral social media movement, Waffle Love became wildly popular. There were no food trucks in Utah County at the time, right? And uh, so we needed. So I decided I was going to do a, a Belgian Liège waffle food truck. It was going to be the best waffle that people had ever had. I went to work perfecting the recipe and making it perfect. I think it was like my 15th try with my family. You know, they're probably all sorts of sick and tired of my waffles. And uh, I finally nailed it. So that was, that was an awesome moment. Once I got that down, I ordered the waffle irons from Belgium and I was all in. What advice does Terry have for future Woodbury entrepreneurs? Follow your heart and do what you know you're passionate about. Then go for it. It was great to learn all the different aspects of business. I learned a lot of things that helped me see a business from the big picture. Terry's success story and passion for providing delicious foods certainly won't end with Waffle Love, and he promises there are more scrumptious adventures ahead. To find out when Waffle Love will be visiting a neighborhood near you, follow them on Facebook or Instagram. For more information on Woodbury's entrepreneurship program, visit www.uvu.edu backslash Woodbury.